And today I'm gonna show you how to homebrew your Wii U on the latest update for free. There is a paid method that involves buying a DS game so you don't need internet access, but I just think this way is easier and it's free. Before we start, note. As of the upload of this video, and probably for years to come since there's no sign of a new update anytime soon, everything here is up to date. Also, even though this method shouldn't even be capable of harming your Wii U since all the files are on the SD card, I'm not responsible if something goes wrong. That's on you. With that out of the way, let's begin. Here's what you'll need. An SD card formatted as FAT32, a computer, Mac or PC's fine, and the Wii U itself. Firstly, go to the first link in the description, and scroll down to the option beginning with Wii U. Download it to somewhere you'll remember. Now go to the second link, and download the launcher 1.4.zip file to that same folder. Finally, go to the third link and download payload.zip. Now, remember to name your SD card something, since if you don't the Wii U won't recognise it, I recommend just Wii. I don't recommend putting Wii U, as I've saw some sources say that can cause issues. Now, make a folder on your SD card called Wii U, and another called install. Since we're not doing the paid version of this tutorial, you won't need to use install yet, but it's better to have it already there, in case you want to use it in the future. Then extract the Wii U zip file and put the apps folder into the Wii U folder. Then do the same with Homebrew Launcher 1.4. If the folder's asked to merge or replace, click merge. Finally, extract the payload.zip to the Wii U folder. Now put the SD card into your Wii U and go to the website on the screen. Then click run the homebrew launcher, and then the screen should go white for about 10 seconds. If your Wii U completely freezes up, that's okay, just turn it off and try again. But then, you'll be here in the homebrew menu. I recommend bookmarking that website so it's quicker to get to, since this is how you'll launch homebrew every time. From here, you can install homebrew apps to the apps folder on the SD card, or from the homebrew app store. And for some reason, even though most homebrew apps will let you press home and go back to the homebrew launcher, the app store doesn't seem to let you do that, so you'll just have to turn the console off. To get home from the homebrew launcher, just press the home button, and it'll take you to the Mii Maker, where you can just press exit. Anyway, that's it for this one.